we're going to check the fuse boxes on this Toyota RAV4 it's a 2014 model and this would work for any model after 2013 also now this model has three brake lights in the back three brake lights only one of them is working so we're going to check and see if a fuse is not out so we're going to pop, the, when you pop the hood <clears throat> right in the middle here is a you put your fingers down and you get a little lever you push it this way push it that way and there we go and it goes up okay so here we are in the engine compartment make sure over here you put your hood stand right into there so we're all set now there's two places for the fuse boxes this is the first spot right here fuse box there's a secondary fuse box right here we're gonna check this one first all you do <clears throat> see this little button here yeah this little button here all you do is push it in see how it pushes in another one over here push it in and the box comes right up the top of the box comes up see that all you do is push that in push it over there <clears throat> this is the top now we're looking on this vehicle as I said the brake lights two of the brake lights are not working here's all your fuses see all your fuses right there 10, 10 amp 10 amp fuses and so forth on the top of the box <clears throat> is the name of the fuse. Now you can't really see these very Let me see if I can. Okay, there we go, a little better. Now, um, here's your name. There's the horn. See, the that one would be the horn. Okay, so we've been looking in this fuse box for the brake light fuses and it's not in there so we're gonna to have to go under the dash for another fuse box but I'm gonna show you here in your manual in the manual if the cover the cover is not so good at telling you what the fuses are but if you go in your manual page uh, 573 and it gives you a more in detail look at what the fuses are see this is the fuse box they have them numbered Here's your fuse box. Now remember, to take the fuse out, here's your tool that you're going to take the fuses out. You have three spares right here. So if any of these fuses are blown, you have a spare right here. A 10, 20, and 30. Here's your spares. And um, that would tell you right there. See, 38, there's your spares. 38, 39, 40. Turn the page. There's the spare. Now, we're going to go underneath the dash, and here's another fuse box under the dash. That's where we're going to go to next. And as you can see there, the number one fuse, not this one, this one, that, that one right there, there's no fuse in there. If it's got a little mark there, that's no fuse. Number one is right there. That's your stoplight fuses 7.5 so we're going to go check and see if this fuse is any good because remember our stoplights are not working two out of three of our stoplights are not working so let's go check this one underneath the dash now here's the fun part you see here's the dash here's your steering wheel here's the dash here's where you crack the hood now right here put your hand right there and you can pull the cover of the fuse box down. I'm going to try to show you a picture of it under there. Now it's kind of hard to see. I know that was blurry and you couldn't see it, but I'm, this is going to be simple. You put your hand under there with your middle finger. There's a little clip there. You just pull it down. And there it is. This is the fuse box for the brakes, the brake lights, which would be number one, I believe.
and again, it's right under here. Let's see if I can uh, let's see if I can show you a blurry picture of the fuse box under there. Probably a little blurry, but there it is. Now this is the tricky part. You have to lean on your you have to get on your back and pull these out. And this is where it gets a little tricky underneath the dash because there's not a lot of room. There's not a lot of room. All here. we do, you take your fuse clip puller. I'm gonna get under there. I'm gonna pull it out and see if it's good or not. So I use the clip. Here's the little tiny 7.5 amp fuse for the stoplight, which is that one right there. I pulled it out. And you might not be able to see very good, but it's, there's no break in there. It's probably hard to see. But I cannot, but they're right here. You got to check in here, and if that little metal loop, if that little metal loop in there is broken, and it's bad, but this fuse is good. The loop is not broken. So we've got some other sort of electrical problem, so it's not the fuse. I can put the fuse back in there, and we'll have to take it back to the dealer and find out why the brake lights are not working. Don't forget to put your cover back on there. And you feel it, and just clip it, push it in there with your fingers. And you see that right there? It pushes right on. There you go. Make sure you put the cover back on. Underneath here is where the, uh, the other fuse box is. And before I close the hood, I'll just show you again where the other fuse box is. These are all the other fuses. The manual. The manual will tell you um, what fuses go where. They also have it here. And your clip, your, your uh, fuse puller, make sure you put your fuse puller back in its place. Okay, so we got the fuse puller back in its place. All we do now is put the top back on, gently push it down into place, you pull it up. When you gently push it down, you know if you pull it up and it's locked into place, it's all good. Again, when you, uh, if you, if, again, if you want to take the fuse box cover off, you just push these in on both sides, it comes right off. So there we are. Now you know where the fuses are. This is the uh, main fuse box under the hood. I showed you the one under the dash. Now this one, not really a fuse box, more of a relay. More, it looks more like a relay box here. I don't see any fuses, just relays. So you probably won't have to mess with that too much. If you're looking to check the fuses, here's the main one under the hood. And then you have another one under the dash. Okay, I hope I was able to help you out to find the fuses easily on a 2014 Toyota RAV4.